Hello. Hello. Wow. We're back. We're back. And just like that, we're back in a flash. I can't believe it. Like, it was it? It's been about a year, hasn't it? Well, it's been quite a long time. Yeah, it's been quite a long time. So we have uh, a buddy builder with us today. Yes. Yes. Oh, we've we're recruited. We're <laughs> uh, we have Lindsay Builds who is uh, going to join us uh, with this journey. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, looking forward to it. Looking forward to it immensely. So, and those of you who are, who are astute know that I've got my teeth in today, but I can't talk very well. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Maybe if you bite the other side, you might it might even it out. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> Don't try it though. No, I won't. <laughs> well, goodness me, we've got a lot of chat in there, folks, uh, tonight. So uh, thank you ever so much for joining us. Goodness me, shall we go through who's, who's, who's joined us? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, right. So we've got Max Mods joined us. Says good evening, everybody. So good evening, Mac. Good evening, Mark. And we've got Ian Campbell, and he says very good evening also. Hi, Ian. Hi, Ian. Good evening. And then we've got Stephen Belcher, and he says, hi, Ian. Hi, Stephen. Hi, hi, Stephen. And Stephen's saying hello to us all there. And uh, Stephen's saying, how was Trafford today? Uh, Telford today, so sorry. Uh, yeah, because it's been the Telford show today, hasn't it, in uh, Shropshire? So, and yeah, uh, quite a few people we know have been or going. Um, no, we're, we're unable to go because of our circumstances, but uh, yeah, it's been the Telford show today. Mm. So, Ian said it was awesome, Stephen. Thanks. And uh, Ian says that some very dedicated and skilled folk, yes, mm. indeed. We've got Dave Matt Builds and he says, Good evening, everyone. Good luck with your new builds, Alex, so Dave, and uh, and good evening, Lindsay, and have a good, great stream. So, hello, Dave Mac. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. And uh, Dave Max saying hello to everybody in there. And then um, Lord Peter Webster says, Hi, Alex, Dave S, and Lindsay. So, hi, Peter. Hi, Peter. Hello. And who else have we got in there? We've got Sprue and Glue. So, it says, Hi, Lindsay. So, hi, hello. Sprue. How you doing, buddy? Hello, hello Sprue and Glue. So, yeah. And. <laughs> Oh, well, so we've got so Stephen saying hello to everybody. Peter's saying hello to everybody. Ian Campbell saying hello to everybody. And what else have we got in there? We've got Athol. Athol says, uh, two dings from three people. And what do I see? Uh, but all three, Lindsay's channel. So good evening, gents. Okay, so. Hi, Athol. Good evening, Athol. How many yeah, we'll be live in four places this evening. Um, so we're on the MCC UK Facebook group. We're of course on Lindsay's channel. Mm -hmm. um, we're on my own channel, and we're also on DS Models channel. So yeah, four streams going. So is that <laughs> four things then? Yeah, four things. Wow, well, you can't really ding on Facebook, can you? But I think you can like. <laughs> 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 anyway, <laughs> let's go back then. We've got uh, Ian Fraser. He says hi, Lindsay, in chat. So hello, Ian. Hi, hi Ian. Ian. And uh, everybody's now talking to everybody else. So yeah, thank you very much for that, everybody. And we'll br bring that up there. Oh goodness me. Yeah. So oh, that's interesting then. So because I've not been, done this before, the whole share the link thing, like with stream. Mm. But you can tell by the chat who's come from Lindsay. Yeah. Got the little link above the the YouTube yeah. play button. Yeah, that's very good, yeah. So, yeah. So, apparently you do that in your settings, don't you? Well, I didn't actually do anything. I did go in and check it because I didn't really know what I was doing, but it looked like it was already set up. And then when I went to share the link, it said something at the bottom. So, I just, yeah, left it at that. Yeah. Very good. It works. Well, that's good. Okay. So, 
um you good people out there um i would like you to uh subscribe to us all in the, our channels so harlex uh, uh ds models and Linux builds please if you don't mind if you already haven't done so and also i'd like you to give us a nice good thumbs up as well so at some point during the evening that would be great right okay we better go cameras down and tell people what we're doing aren't we yep well yes i think the intro might have given it away <laughs> <laughs> that was a very, yeah, good intro. Intro. very good and, and i was going to say the intro well, absolutely fantastic and yeah. once again Harlex, thank you ever so much for making this fantastic intro it's been absolutely no, brilliant it's all right. no problem at all okay so let me go cameras down come on camera don't let me down now don't let me down there we go okay right so as um as alex has got the box out there holex so you're full screen now holex so this is what we are going to build now then are you going to paint it in them colors holex or are you going to choose a different color yes because this is only my second major model i don't want to start in it with random bright colors that probably won't suit so i'm gonna go with exactly how this is stock yeah on okay. my model. the only addition is maybe some lights again like the last series but um to be honest i don't really know yet because there's not going to be too much to light up on this one but obviously the headlights and the rear lights but um i will decide near the time wow okay well um i am going to be building it in the same colors i've decided um pretty sure i've got the colors uh, upstairs which i haven't brought down actually but um uh, but yeah i'm pretty sure that I, as, as you know i've got a green one uh, which i bought privately so um I, i'm going to do this one and then i think what i've decided to do is do the others the the same colors as what's on the box as well so just to be boring um just to like like you horlicks like uh just to be you know because i haven't done it in my own colors yet so i want to be safe if you know what i mean yeah um, um, but this is still going to be a challenge for me because one is going to be the first time i'm going to be using my uh, airbrush which is just a it's just a portable one um yeah like, from peter so yeah i'm looking really forward to starting to use that but also like these lines and i'm gonna have to mask that off and it's all new technique that i haven't done i mean to a lot of you it's probably really easy to do just work some masking tape on and that's that but yeah you've got to be careful it doesn't bleed and all that and you and there's some ridges there which i'm really worried about yes yeah yeah well, we have the master with us, and I'll put you on screen, <laughs> the master, and that is Lindsay. So Lindsay's built mad, mad Dog, Doc. Um, <laughs> it, you are considered by us, especially, to be the master of this model and many other models, because you are absolutely fantastic at building plastic models without a shadow of a doubt, if I may say so. Yeah, thank you, Blake. Thank you. So... Um, can i ask what uh, color you're going to do with yours and how are you going to do with yours all right um i'm going to add an extra uh lorry to my ha haradon fleet oh so if you remember if you if you remember i showed them on the show and tell which was the big scania and the two small bedfords yeah 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 that's the colors i should be doing it in and also i should be doing a conversion as well oh wow fantastic i should be, be using um the uh whole front uh mating up to the uh actual bedford cap cap that you get in the kit so wow. all this all this is resin wow and i have to do quite a bit of alteration for it to all fit yeah so but i've done one of these i've done one of these once before so it uh, i'll have to search my memory box <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's what I should do with mine 
will it be the OY one or the OX one? I think it's the OY one. Is it? Is that the long wheelbase one? The OY one? Yeah, the OY. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, um, wartime spec then. Sorry. Wartime spec. What do you mean? Uh, the cab is wartime spec. Yes, it is wartime spec. Yes, it is. Yeah. 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 So yeah. yeah. So edging on my favourite Bedford at that particular time, uh, long wheelbase, wartime spec. Yeah, definitely. So um, remember him as being a kid, um, seen many, many on the roads, um, and listening to the gearbox whine as by absolutely fantastic. Okay, so myself then, what am I going to do? Well. I think I've told you that I'm going to do, I'm going to do the brown and cream, uh, with black wings and black uh, chassis. And I'm going to start by doing uh, the chassis. I'm going to make up the chassis first. So we've got the instructions here and everything. We've all got our identical uh, kits, apart from Lindsay's going to obviously um, make his into the OY version. As um been and washed my sprues today so yeah i have yeah. to <laughs> and um to make it a bit easy i used oz scale modeling's um tip of uh, marking each sprue with a piece of um uh, masking tape and writing on what the sprue number was so that i wasn't looking down at the sprue and thinking oh goodness me what number is the sprue so I can instantly now pick up the sprue if I want B B1 sprue, then I've got B1 sprue, etc. etc. I want A sprue, then I've got A sprue there, or D sprue, or whatever, you know. So and such like. So I've just uh, quickly done that. Right. This kit is available um online. Uh, you can get it from eBay uh, or other uh, online sources and you can get it from hobbycraft and um there is four in the series and i think uh, harlex has shown you the other three um but just in case he hasn't i'll show you the other three quickly there is the wrecker one which we did before and there is the tanker and then there is the short wheelbase tipper so there's four in the series and then there's obviously this one but um in Lindsay's case there's about eight in the series <laughs> <laughs> anyway i digress so i'm going to put the screen on all three of us and then i'm going to bring up the chat again and then i'm going to crack on so there we go Okay, let's have a quick look at the chat and then we'll um, we'll crack on this one. But Ian Campbell's saying nice nice ones to Dave. Hi Ethel. Um Max Mod says uh, yes, it's really fun uh, guest streaming to their channels. Yeah, um absolutely fantastic, Mark. And I, I gather you'll do it on a Sunday with uh, the Nexus. And uh, that works out quite well. And so uh, thank you for that, Mark. And thank you for putting in the channel details as well, sharing the channel details. Uh, very much appreciated, Mark. Thank you. So Ian Fraser says, um, hi, Sprue. And Athel, Athel says, hi, Mark. Ian Campbell says, I have to thank Ed Hughes, who gave me a lift to Telford. Uh, we joined Claire and James, CEO from Agora, and pressed that pressed pressed them on quality. Uh, they are releasing an Apache helicopter next year. Wow, Ooh. Apache helicopter! So I wonder if that's the, the rotating blades that people was thinking about. It could have been things like the Lancaster or another helicopter or something like that but yeah if that's what it is if it's the apache helicopter now we know fantastic so the lovely people over there at agoramodels.com 
Um, Max says hi, Athol. Max says hi, Sprue. And then we've got uh, Anfield Road Lair in the loft. Lee in. Hi, Lee. Hi, Lee. Hi, Lee. And then in the chat here, there's Mark who's shared all our channels. Uh, that's Horlicks's channel. That's my channel. And that's um, that'll be Lindsay's channel, I think. Oh, no, it's the MCC UK channel. Sorry. Uh, Ian Campbell says hi, Lee. Lord Peter says uh, hi, Lindsay. Just uh, drop you a like, bud. Thank you very much. Thank you. And then uh, my lovely lady, uh, Crafty Chris, she says, good evening, Dave, Alex and Lindsay, and all in chat. So, hello, darling. And, hi, uh, uh, hi, Chris. Peter says, hi, Dave Sprue. Uh, Lord Peter says, hi, Ian. Athel says, uh, evening, Lord Peter. Ian Fraser says, hi, Lord Peter. And uh, Max Mod says, evening, Peter. Max Mod says, uh, hi, Ian. Goodness me, we have got some chatting. It says hi, Pete. Hi, Max. It says uh, Peter, and Peter says hi, Athol. Stephen Owens in the building, and he says good evening, everyone. Good evening, Steve. -o. Steve. And uh, Sprue says hi, Peter. Lord Peter Webster says hi, hi, Dave and Sprue. Uh, Athol says, uh, "What was that? I had the models washed, Sprue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was big enough to wash himself laughing out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, I knew somebody would pick up on that one. <laughs> right, so tell Dave to stop waffling and get building laughing out loud. Yeah, absolutely. So Peter Webster says, you shouldn't have said that, Ian. Uh, now I have to build the heli. My wife I'm not going to be happy laughing out loud. <laughs> We've got Ron Heatham in the building. Ron Heatham. Uh, it says, hello, Lindsay, and all in panel and all in chat. So, hi, hi Ron. Ron. How you doing, Ron? Hi, Ron. And uh, Dave McBill says, uh, evening, Chris. Oops. Okay. I've got missed a couple there. Uh, Lord Peter says, hi, Chris, sending you my love and hugs. Uh, Sprue says, uh, hi, Unky Bunky Ron. <laughs> Dathel says, hi, Unky Bunky Ron. Uh, goodness me. Uh, Peter says, hi, Stephen. Chat's jumping like mad. Uh, Crafty Chris says, hi, Peter, thank you. We've got Gillian's Dots in the building. She says, good evening, Dave, Horlicks, Lindsay, and everyone in the chat. Hello. Hello, hello, Gillian. Hi, um, Gillian. Uh, <laughs> Lord Peter says, hi, Grandad Ron. I love that one. <laughs> and uh, Gillian Stott says, good evening, Chris. Uh, hi, Ron, says Dave Mack. Athol says, uh, hi, Lee. Gosh, jumping like mad. Good evening, uh, Stephen Owen, says Gillian Stott. Ron Hetton says, uh, hi, Dave. Hello. And uh, Lord Peter says, hi, Gillian. And Gillian Stott says, hi, Peter. And that is the end of the chat for now. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to more. There is just one more. So Ian Campbell says 100% Apache uh, with a huge base, similar to the Spitfire. All oh, right. Okay. Wow. Oops. Oops. Come on. Stop, stop. Sounds good, but they can keep it because I ain't got the room for that. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's, I'm the same. I've not got the room. Right. Let me get building then, chaps. Okay. So I was going to ask you, I don't think this will reply to Lindsay because he's amending it, but what, um, have you, have you decided yet what livery you're going for? Are you going for the British Railways or the, or the British Road Services? Yeah, I'm going for the, um, I'm going for this, this brown one, the British Railways. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going for this livery, and yeah. um, if I can put a headboard on it with that sign on, then I might do that as just a little, a little deviation from the kit, if you know what I mean. So, because it, I noticed it didn't have a headboard on it, just had the transfer on the roof. So I might put a headboard with a transfer on the headboard. 
as just like a little deviation from the from the um, the box art one. So, oh, while I'm here as well, I'm going to show you all this lot, this one, because um, I'm going to be building this one. So, thanks to Lindsay as well. So, um, I'm going to be building this Opal Blitz uh, Classic, and uh, this is also one twenty fourth scale. Uh, but I'm going to be building this one off camera, and I'm going to be um, just giving you a quick update on this one. So. Um, as you know, all my Bedford ones are going into a diorama uh, eventually, and uh, this one will be as well. And the idea about this one is that it's a captured German one, because uh, it's round about the German army um, age. It's going to be a captured German one that's been repainted over, uh, but with, with signs on the doors and what have you of the old um, German markings on it if you like just popping through here there and everywhere and it's going to be like a stars lorry um at the uh, at, at the garage that i'm going to build so that's that's the idea of that one but lindsay you are to blame for that one <laughs> <laughs> everybody blames me tell you they really throw me under the bus <laughs> right then so as i said i'm going to start with the chassis so uh, i've got the instructions open to me and i'm going to start cutting the bits out of the chassis and um filing them off and getting them something like so i'm gonna give my my tongue a rest now <laughs> <laughs> What did you all say? Thank goodness for that. <laughs> no. everybody, know, everybody knows that I can talk for England. No good. It's better than silent show, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to start with the chassis, but I changed my mind and I'm doing the engine because I need to. Well, I'm going to try and get both done if I can. Because yeah. I need to prime them and then I can start painting the engine. Yeah. So I've lost my, my what do you call it? Your mojo? Oh. Say again? I've lost my nail file, so I'm having to use oh. some p400 and some 3000 just to yeah ron give alex his nail far back yeah <laughs> has he nicked it yeah <laughs> is he always nicking things like that yeah, he is. He's a, oh, he's, right. a, he's, a, he's a little tire rag. Ain't you wrong? <laughs> I had loads of the things. I've only used like one out of about ten. But I don't. I just don't know where the others have got, and that's my issue. I think. Well, I bought them before. You know, I've moved things, then, so they could actually be anywhere. Yeah. I want to get one. A bit like what Lindsay's got, like one of the softer ones. Yeah. They are better, aren't they? The softer ones. Um, depending on your plastic, of course. So it's been quite a day today. It's obviously uh, the 11th month of the 11th day. So it's obviously a Remembrance Day, uh, which is quite a poignant, poignant day, poignant weekend for those who have served or families of those who have served. And um, something that we should never, ever forget. Mm. 
No. So I got a copy of what uh, quite a while ago now, and uh, they were selling them in our local Morrison's. And um, the, the poppy sellers, bless them, they were getting younger and younger, which is fine because that means there's volunteers stepping up to do the job that the the elder so soldiers used to do, if you like. Uh, but then I heard on the television that there was a national shortage of uh, volunteers, volunteer poppy sellers. So, and I thought, well, that's that's almost typical as well, because there is a national volunteer shortage of pretty much every volunteer organisation, really. Which is, uh, again, a sign of the times, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I'll come and pop back into the chat in a minute and just um, get these rough edges off of you. So, Lindsay, I have I have um, CA glue. Yeah. To use on this model, do you think that'll be all right? Well, I don't never recommend CA glue to um, build plastic models. Don't you? No. You don't like it then? No. Nope. The only time I use CA glue is if I'm using photo extra plastic. Yeah. It's the only time. Yeah. So would you recommend the Tamiya um, Thin? You could use the Tamiya Thin or you can use the other Tamiya one. Oh yeah, another one you made. I know it just takes a little bit longer for the glue to dry, but... Yeah. I mean, with super glue, I mean, super glue becomes very, very brittle after a few months and then bits start falling off. Yeah, I've noticed that um, on a couple of models that I've built. Having said that, though, I've, I have re-glued them and they've been okay after that. But... Yeah. Well, well, the, well, the parts normally break away clean, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, it's the first time I'm trying the extra thin cement on this one it's quite hard to do you do you just blob it everywhere like obviously like the engine for example there was two pins to glue is that all you glue or do you just put a dot around the perimeter as well well i normally um i use it on the bits that you should that you should put it on then i just use a bit around the edge but not too much yeah but don't put too much in otherwise it will squeeze out yeah yeah that's what i did then that's cool yeah so yeah i've got some extra thin oh. okay yeah, let's have a quick look at the chat oh. Slapping my tea because my tongue's going a bit sore. Oh dear. Right, let's have a look. Goodness me, where did I get up to? So, Gillian says hi, Mark. Ron says hi, Lord Peter. Uh, evening, Gillian says Dave Mac. Ian says hi, Gillian. Uh, Christine says hi, Dave Mac and Gillian. Ian says hi, Chris. Uh, Gillian's dot says uh, good evening, Ian. Lord well, Peter says uh, stop it, Ian. We'll have the hobby room extension sorted uh, ASAP now. <laughs> Laughing out loud. Yes. Um, yeah, you'll soon be filling it up. I would have thought with all these new part works that's coming out, Peter. So uh, Gillian says uh, good evening, Denmark builds. Uh, Mark says hi, Ron. 
Mom says, hi, Mark. Sprue and Glue says, oh, wow, now that Apache would be a nice build, we think. I need a rich family. <laughs> Athel says, evening, Gillian. Uh, Peter says, looking forward to seeing the diorama, Dave. Yeah, it's going to be a little while yet before I get any uh, work done on there. Um, have I got some of that? Yeah, I have. I can show you what I'm going to build the walls out of. Okay. I can just get this off the table. Oh. I'm going to build the walls of the diorama out of this, which is... It's... Um, West Firm, I think they call it. Uh, West Firm. Uh, it's five millimeter and it's white and it's a one size. But this is cut down because I've used some of it on else on on a, something else. But <clears throat> with it only being five mil thick, it's going to build um, nice strong walls uh, of the um, of the building. So pretty sure that. It, that, that sort of height is going to be about the right sort of height. Uh, round about A4 in height. And then, um, you know, I'm going to be cutting windows out of it and everything and what have you. So, and it's uh, nice and light and nice, it glues nice together as well with PVA. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to be using for the diorama bits. Uh, eventually uh, Kev's Plastic Scales has joined us says, uh, Good evening Lindsay, Dave, Horlicks uh, Not to forget everyone in Chatland Enjoy your builds and have a great evening Thank you very much for that Kevin Very much appreciated Hi Kevin, Hi. thank you Hi Kev And that's Kev's Plastic Scales Thank you Ian says, um, Holix, uh, I may ne need to add to build it for me, laughing out loud. Ooh. Oh, well, that's okay then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I don't that. mind, Ian, for you. Okay, Athel says, uh, evening, Kev. Uh, Max says, uh, evening, Kev. And Kev's Plastic Skills says, uh, hi, Athel and Mark, Ron and Sprue. Uh, Steve one three one joined us. He says evening, Sir Dave, and chat. So hello, Steve. Thanks for joining. Hello, Steve. Um, Lord Peter says hi, Steve. How are you doing? Um, Steve one three one says uh, Lord Peter Webster. I'm good. Just back from Malvern Theatre. Uh, good day out as usual. And uh, Lord Peter says, looks like my plastic double O gauge wagon may fall apart going going round the track at some point, laughing out loud. Oh dear. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. Ron says, uh, hi, Kev. And Max says, uh, hi to everyone in the other chats. And um, Peter says, glad to hear Steve. Uh, Peter says, I can see my financial advisor having a coronary. Uh, if I do another build, laughing out loud, yeah, I'm not going to be doing any more um, part works, I'm afraid. So, yeah, uh, plastic scale models, uh, yeah, from now on, I think. Okay, and uh, other than a couple of highs to other people, that is the chat caught up with. Okay. Right. So I'm onto the B sprue. Mm -hmm. Every time I build something, there's something else I need. Yeah, that's um that's just part of hobby, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you're Lindsay, and I bet he's got everything. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I've, not even, I've not even got my paint for this yet. No, I haven't actually. To be fair, 
I mean tool wise I need I've got a Dremel but that's a bit too harsh I need one of them um, well you've got there like a little open little handheld drill you always find you need something it doesn't matter how much stock you've got that's that one yeah it's um always nearly flags up something or other doesn't it that you yeah p62 62 is that one i just thought you'd have had mark in trying to uh jump in as a chat reader <laughs> you can if you want he knows where he knows where how to get in like but so 60 what 60 63 67 63 63 oops come on where's it gone there we are it always lands further away than what you think doesn't it that's that one B fifty seven, B fifty seven, B fifty seven, and that one is seventy three. You feel seventy three at the minute. I completely forgot about Spike altogether. Oh, you're all right. Yeah. Was you busy? I was just, I just had my dinner. I was just, just about to jump back into Terry's stream. Ah. Yeah. Oh, sorry about that. That's all right, mate. It's me. I've just got a brain lock a tea bag. So, let's see, six. I've been looking forward. I've been looking forward to this though. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so quality tea bag though. <laughs> quality tea bags. <laughs> 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 it doesn't matter even if they're quality tea bags, Alex, well, they, it'll still leak. <laughs> <laughs> C6. There we go. Oh, dear. Mm -hmm. No, no. Right, then. I think these can go together now. C6. And I'm aware that you're all probably a hell of, well ahead of me because I. Obviously, I've been yakking in the chat and everything. You tend to no. get a bit wrong when you're yakking in the chat, but I, I don't like to leave the chat out, if you know what I mean. No. So much, anyway. This has been good enough to support us all this time, and everybody deserves a mention. Yeah, it's been a while since I built one of these. It's been a while, crocodile. Yeah, it's been a while since I built one. Oh, a bit rough. A couple of years ago, I think, it's the last time I built one. Oh, really? Well, my, my dad had a Bedford OB coach. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, he actually had two. Uh, one one was for spares, and the other one. And so I spent a lot of my misspent small youth on going to little shows and what have you with with my dad and his Bedford Derby coach. And oh goodness me, it was fantastic. And of course, the chassis are identical to this, and the engines are identical gearbox. It's just the back axle that was different. Uh, the back yeah. axle on the coaches were offset. Mm -hmm. They weren't. Um, they weren't square. They was offset, uh, and that's because there wasn't a you know a big hump then in the middle of the coach mm -hmm. as you was walking down the aisle. He sold it, didn't he? God bless him. And um, it, uh, it never saw the road again. Yeah. So, no, I the, um the, the, the shop was uh, closed, mate. It, it, uh, it was open on the website, but when I got there, it was closed. So I'll have to wait till next week now, Apple. Sorry about that. All right, I'm not keeping an eye on the chat. <laughs> oh, it's just awful. It was just... over there. We're into our Warhammer. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Are you going to look at playing as well or just painting the figures? I'll just build them. I'm, I'm, build, I'm building a diorama, uh, a battle scene. Oh, that'll be good. I'm not into playing it, Alex. No. Right. I, I, I mean, I've looked into it once, but it looks far too complicated. If I tried to play it, I'd look like a plank. Standing there scratching my head. <laughs> well, yeah. Same here, same here. That would as well. I just enjoy uh, making and um, doing the figures. It's quite relaxing, really. Yeah, I would imagine it is um, painting because uh, you like making and painting, don't you? So yeah, I do. Yeah, I would, yeah, I would imagine it's it, it is quite relaxing. For you, is that? <laughs> Takes my mind off the big builds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twelve. That's coming all right. right. Ruin Glow says uh, he says I thought I would come here too. Very good. And uh, Max says I can do the Apache uh, when I finish the Mura. Okay. And uh, Spro says and here too. Mm. And the other, one, other chat now, are <laughs> And Max says, I can do what you want me to. And then Lord Peter says, I'm going to put my 76 issues of the Titanic up for sale for the best price. I think, and whoever may buy it will keep getting the issues and arrange for them to pay for each pack and forward each pack. Wow. So there is a golden opportunity for someone to start the titanic if you want to so yeah get in touch with lord, lord peter webster so uh peter webster says can't see me building it in all honesty and uh that was the message from to lindsay from athol wasn't it yeah okay oh. okay sure it there we go <clears throat> <coughs> right, let's have a look. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Right, that can dry. Um, did I miss a bit there? I did miss a bit there. Got some flash. Quite a lot. Some of these parts. Is yours one of the old kits or from China? Uh, uh, it says made in China. Well, uh, I'll say oh, they, used, they, used to, they used to produce them here in the UK. In Northampton, it was. Uh, oh. 2016, man says. Oh, yeah. Mortway Barwell, mm. England, LA yeah. 9. Where's this? Where did you see that? Um, Sorry. It was oh, next to the red one on the side there. Oh, mine's just got made in China. Yeah, uh, Dave's no. got Dave's got one of the older ones. Oh no! Hang on. Oh, there it is. The same. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's it. Back when you were uh, Germany, and they're made in China on the side. Hmm. Right, let's go along fast. Yeah, it's not that one, it's that one. It's that one, look. Yeah, nearly cut me out in that one. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice and square, please. We have a little bit of luck. And the next one. Facing upwards. No one's going there. Going there, look. It's in town, one there. This upwards, okay. Come on. Come on, Eileen. Oh, 
and an anti-cold Arlene. I think that was a common name, wasn't it, for aunties, Eileen? Yeah. Bye, she was a rum one. She was. Bless her. Mm. So with that, that wants the cut out furthest away then by the looks of it. So that way. It shows no cut out there. C6. Let's go in there. There. What you're working uh, on? Say again. So I was uh, talking to Spurry, mate. I was asking him what he's working on. Next for them, up once. That's good. And then two hours there. Yep, it is. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Everything. Camo. And one last one. <coughs> oh. Cup of tape. Ah. Mm. All right. What goes in there? B3. Oh. B3. Oh, fingers. Like. Only trying to fit it the wrong way around, I think. You started the chassis first, Dave. Yeah. Keep a knocking, but you can't come in. Come back tomorrow night and try it again. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Mm. 
Okay, why well, can't I get that bit in there? No, getting it wrong way around, I think. Come on, it's not that hard. Oh, let's put that down because my hand's got a cramp in. Ah. Ah. Right. Mm. Not like going there then. Mm. Not going that one either. So I'm not going that one. Came hmm. on. I think it goes there. I reckon there's a bit of flash on there. I reckon that's a bit of flash. Right. Let's have a butcher's. Hello there, Ross. How you doing, mate? Hello, Benjamin. Hello, Lee. Come on. Hmm. Flash. See where it goes now, shall we? That's better. Yeah, let's just turn the other side. Mm. The other side looks a bit dropping out as well. Bit of flash, flash garden. Flash. Ah. <laughs> You're feeling all right there, Dave. Hey? You feeling all right there? <laughs> yes. You mentioned Flash. Oh. Keeper of the universe. <laughs> He's got the giggles. Is it the fumes from this uh, paint? Could be. I mean paint, glue. Glue. Super thin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, could well have been. No, you, what I usually say is, Gordon's alive! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gets in there. Flash Garden. Can you remember that? Yep, yeah, I do. What a, what a program. What a fantastic program. Brian Blessed, bless him, is from uh, good old Mexper in Doncaster. Didn't he? Queen, made a, Queen made a record of it, didn't they? Yeah, certainly did. Yeah, a bit of butchering, and we can get it in now. A bit of butchering. Just got to get it in the right place. Shove it in there. Come on. Don't mess me around. You won't like it if I'm being messed around. <laughs> sure, that's another song. That's a film. Mm -hmm. 
やってるかわかんない。Come on, mate. Hurry up and set. There we are. Okay. Just have to wait while my finger dries off a bit. Okay, so. Chat, goodness me. So, Athel says, I used to play Space Marines 40k. Uh, but when COVID struck, I and loads of others stopped, e even on LAN, as it's not the same across the imaginary table. Okay. So we've got Benjamin Ben uh, that's joined us. It says, uh, do you guys still remember your first build ever made? Mine was a Mini Cooper and an F-117 Stealth. Yeah, it's funny you say that, isn't it, though? Yeah, this is this is my third model I'm doing now, and this was my first one. Yep, Mini Cooper. Mini Cooper. I make that last time because I lost the cap, so I made one out of a bit of sprue. That was on the last Bedford show. I think I did that on the fly, really quick. I think you did, yeah. So yeah, that was my first very first plastic model I've done. No experience really, just went for it. So yeah. Um goodness me, what did I first make? Um, um, I made a bomb trolley, I think the fair was the first one, was it? That I actually made on stream. Um it's I think so. I made a, a 135th scale um, or 132nd scale, should I say, um, bouncing bomb trolley with a bouncing bomb. Uh, and it was, I can't remember whose kit it was now. Um, it was one of them kits you had to uh, do offline, uh, do, uh, buy offline. Yeah, can't remember. Thank you, Ben, uh, for the subscription. Very much appreciated. So, and the second ever one I did was, um, I think, the 132nd scale um, David Brown tractor by the same company uh, to tow the bomb trailer. Can't, my, my mind won't make me think now. Well, um, where I got them from, I got, I got them, I got the bomb trolley, the David Brown, and the uh, crew for the Lancaster from this company that does 132nd scale. And there was the only 132nd scale bits I could find for the uh, to, to go with the, the, the Lancaster. Haven't built the Lancaster yet, of course. Uh, and that's coming up shortly. So, can you remember your first build then, Lindsay? Yeah. Goodness it was, me. What was that? It was a Sunbeam Rapier, and I was eight years old. A Sunbeam Rapier? Yeah. Wow. Well, it was one of Airfix's, but it was the ones in the bag. Yeah, and other ones. Yeah. And there wasn't one wheel pointing in the right direction. Flew all <laughs> over the windows. <laughs> I think I must have built it in about two hours, I think. <laughs> it was just a soggy mess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, was a, it, was a, it was a Christmas present. Yeah. Mm. I was supposed to wait for my father, but I couldn't wait. Yeah. Mm. I didn't get any models for a long time after that. <laughs> punishment, isn't it? Yeah, mm. punishment. Yeah, I didn't yeah, even know what the world of Sunbeam Rapier is. It's a car, of course. The car of the 1960s, wasn't it? It was. Looks similar to the uh, Gazelle. 
Yeah. Mm. I used to know some dude used to have a, a real sunbeam rape here. He was actually a coach driver and he um he had this this sunbeam rapier in the back of the coach garage where all these coaches packed and he had the um permission to park it there from the gaffer who won the garage yeah but he didn't have the permission to restore it and he was restoring it oh dear <laughs> there was bits of it everywhere that's all right as long as you can put them back together isn't it yeah i don't think it ever got put back together I always think restoring cars, they're just money pits. Yeah, yeah it can be. Just fixing one thing and then you find something else and then something else. And Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've been rather lucky with Matilda so far, but there is things that I have changed on it that I've improved upon. But Yeah. And you know we've been lucky that we haven't had to cry a lot because um, it's either had it with it or I bought it really really cheap. Oh, um, right. yeah. So I mean I got another uh, rear axle, um, all the front suspension, all mm. the front all the rear brakes all brand new from a and an engine all from a guy who just really wanted rid of the bits oh i see yeah I and he, he said if you'll pay the post he said i'll you know so you can't say fair than that it was fantastic I was able to put it back onto its original brakes and everything and original wheels I'll ignore that, Ross. <laughs> I'll get you back one day, mate, I'll tell you. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. It's all good fun, mate. Right, where was I? In the D13, I think. Yeah, so we was rather lucky in getting the bits that we needed and Yeah. So this guy was happy to get rid of the bits out of his way and That's it. The rear axle can... we got. Say again. I can't believe the luck you had with the um plate. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the original, um, the original um, number plates. Well, the number plates now are, not, are worth more than the car is. Then they... I mean, it, it kept its original number and everything. It's just that um, the original number plates that the guy took off it um, to put aluminium ones on instead of the individual letters oh, right. um, it, it, you know it kept, it kept the original ones and um, and once again he said it was you know more or less the postage and he says you can have them yeah. <laughs> jumped at the chance Excuse me. Excused. It's just uh, taking my breath a bit. Is this? Uh, 
Oh, the extra thin. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's quite potent, isn't it? Yeah, we're getting there, though. Yeah. Might have a few finger marks on it, but. Hold it together while it dries. Okay, while it's drying, I'm gonna bring up this chat. Okay, goodness me, chat, chat, chat. There we are. Come on, get down there. So. Max Mod says, uh, very tempting for me, Peter, as I would love to mod it and do the Olympic, uh, but but could be moving home soon. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, we've said about that, and we, Mark, yeah, doing the Olympic as well. Yeah, doing all three ships. I think somebody on one of the sites is doing all three ships. Oh, goodness me, what a sight that's going to be when somebody does that. Wow, it's going to be amazing. Athel says, uh, yes, Ben, uh, my first was an ME-109, uh, circa 1967, uh, when I was an, uh, an air cadet. Wow. Uh, Steve131 says, uh, Max Mods, you, you know you want uh, to Olympic. Next sister would be epic. Yes. Yeah, let's um, badger him into buying it, shall we? <laughs> Maximus says, Steve131, I would have all three sisters. Yeah, I thought you would do. Steve131, loads of uh, sunglasses and thumbs up. <laughs> and uh, Peter says, uh, munching on some nice warm chestnuts here at the moment, oh, wow. enjoying the builds. Thank you very much for that, Peter. So uh, the only trouble is, where's ours? You didn't share them. <laughs> Don't worry about me. You can give extra ones today. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. So no, I've never been one for chestnuts. No, it's a Christmassy thing, isn't it? You roasted chestnut and all that. I just, oh no, I can't. Personally, I don't like them. But I'm not a fan of nuts. Well, we don't have an open fire anymore, so we don't have any chestnuts. <laughs> roasted chestnuts. So. Hmm. Okay, so uh, Spoon Glow's just sat watching, bud. And um, Scale Model Ninja's joined us. So he says, evening all. So, hello, Scale Model Ninja. That's Ross, that is. Ross, yeah. yeah. Hi, Ross. Uh, Benjamin Ben says, and Athol Nickel, uh, me was a 109, uh, looks amazing. Might buy a yellow tit one. Yeah, they do look nice, don't they? So, Lee, Anfield Road Layout in the Loft says, good stream, big thumbs up. Thank you, Lee. Thank you ever so much. Hi, Lee. Um, um, Steve131 says, Peter, I am on an open fire. Are they on an open fire? So, Peter says, uh, no, Steve, uh, in the oven, too cold from, from Marie to cook on a barbecue. Yeah, I don't blame you outside this time. So, Max Mod says, uh, evening scale model ninja and... Peter says, hi, Ross. And Steve131 says, that Peter, I've eaten uh, a lot of weird stuff. Can't say I've even ever eaten chestnuts. Uh, must change that soon. Uh, well, they are actually really good. Yeah, they're really good if you're into nuts. Uh, Peter says, hi, Benjamin. Mark says, hi, Benjamin. And uh, Benjamin says, hi, Mark. And um, Benjamin says, hello, Lord Peter. Peter says, Emperor Ming used to love what, watching Flash. Mm. Yeah. I used, I used to like watching Flash Gordon. Okay. Really sci-fi, really sci wasn't it? And really uh, out of this world. So Steve131 says Gordon's alive, like I just said. Yeah, Gordon's alive. Um, laughing faces. So uh, laughing out loud, Steve. Steve131 says uh, was hoping you could get uh, that, my lord. And um, 
through and Glow says, okay, who was it that parted with gas? Uh, not guilty. <laughs> not guilty. Not guilty, no. Uh, it, must, it could have been my chair, because my chair's a bit... I've got a leather chair. Oh, yeah, I've heard that before. But <laughs> <could have> been... <laughs> well, <laughs> that's my excuse. <laughs> Skill model, skill model Ninja says, uh, Lindsay, first build would have been two rocks put together to imitate his cave from Stone Age. Last minute, oh, no. <laughs> He's a character, I'll tell you. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, Benjamin says, Sprung Glue, was it the cat again? Sprung's laughing out loud. Lord Peter says, uh, my sister's husband is currently hot rod in a 1950s eight litre Studebaker car. Wow. So eight litres. Goodness me. And 1950s one. So yeah. Goodness me. 350, 400 block or something like that, is it? Goodness me. Kenneth has joined us. Afternoon from Atlanta, Georgia. Love everyone's videos and channels. Thank you very much for that, Hi, Kenneth. Kenneth. How are you? Hello. Strong Glow says Ross Lindsay invented the, the chair. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, Peter says, Hi, Kenneth. Hope you are well. Kenneth says, uh, Yes, I'm doing fantastic. Thank you. Jolly good for that, Kenneth. Uh, Lord Peter says, good to hear, Kenneth. Uh, how's your kit build going? Uh, Peter says, you need to try chestnuts glazed in crystal sugar, Alex. Hmm. Oh, sounds good. I think it, do you know what? It does sound good, but I'm just not a fan of nuts. I know it's hard to believe, as you know me very well. But... Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> a bit of a sideline joke there. But... <laughs> I just don't know. I can't. I'm not even keen on just salted peanuts. You have a couple, and then you're drinking a gallon of water, mm. and then I find I chew them. So when I'm chewing on my nuts, you can't swallow. No. But Peter says, have to have chestnuts and sprouts on Xmas dinner. Yes. Uh, in a, took, took them in a pan and roasted them together. Oh, yes. And a bit of bacon. Ooh. So Kenneth says, fun. I'm going to be starting my flying Dutchman ship soon. I'm waiting for my paint to, and dry dissect to come in the mail Monday. Brilliant. Ron Hetham says, uh, Hetham says, my first model was a Spitfire Mark I. Real, yeah, was that by uh, fix by any chance, uh, Ron? And um, Peter says that uh, sounds sounds like fun, Kenneth. And Peter says, I've no idea what engine, uh, but huge and sounds like a jet engine, yes, absolutely. Yeah, 350 block is, is the general, but I think I think you can go up to 400 for an eight liter, especially. Good, goodness me. So Kenneth says I haven't been able to work again on my Night Rider builds because I've been busy with uh, work and helping my mum around the house. Okay, and um, Ron says yes, it was. It was a Airfix one. Okay, and that's chat brought up to date. Okay, where do I have to go now? I have to make a fuel tank. Um. I'm sure that I'm a bit behind you guys. No, I've not even started my shafts yet. I've just no, done that. I've just got one more bit to put on the engine, and then the engine's done. I was going to say, I bet you've got your engine done, though. And I've got another bit to put on my chassis. I actually stopped building because I thought I'd done my chassis, but I'd, I'd missed one <laughs> bit. <laughs> so that puts me behind, you see. I could be right. 
No, that's fine. No rush. All our own pace. Yeah. No good rushing it. No. I've made a ladder. A ladder chassis. You're climbing the ladder. If I had a ladder. Ladder in the morning. Mm -hmm. Okay. You go up it in the evening. All over this land. Right, so that is telling me that's going in there, but I've got a round peg and a square roll. That's not good. Round peg and a square roll. Mm. How did you manage that one? Right, that's all right. All done. Perfect. Was that the uh, fuel pump on the side of the block? Yeah. Yeah. You drill it out. I've got the old round file in there. Mm -hmm. Let's check this now that I've got everyone in. Yes, yes, yes. There's a lot of messages coming backwards and forwards some ways. Yeah, that's more fun. Mm. Ah, missed one. Too much yakking, you see? That's the engine done then, I think. That little piece on. Oh, B14 is the worst to get on, isn't it? It's that little, uh, whatever it is. B14? Yeah, they know that tiny little study bit on the side of the engine. Oh, yeah. Yes, indeed. No, I'm happy with that. It's all stuck together. Few wet bits, duh. No, actually, no, they're all pretty fast, so that can now wait for priming. I don't I think it's gone in there. Has it gone in now? Yeah. Just make sure that front's in, and then Bob's your uncle. Have you already pre primed yours, Lindsay, or is it all raw? It's all raw. Yeah, that's yeah, like I said, you caught me on the up. I've not even washed the sprays. Mm. Yeah, well as well. So I've washed the sprays, but I'm not as I washed mine about an hour before the show. Yeah, <laughs> but, oh no, I forgot. Although I'm not sure, I was going to not bother. Because I just wanted to see if it made any difference for me. It's just that cab that's the worst, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I think... I should, um, wash, I should wash the cab down, but I don't think I'll bother with the rest. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't washed the cab yet. I had no problems with the cab on the last one. You're I can not on the inside there. C. C16 and C17. C16 and C17. Right, I'll do that a bit one. more chat here. So, okay. uh, can it? Says, uh, I've been playing Robocop game on the Xbox. Oh, cool. Oh. I need to crack mine out again because um, my mate just signed up for the new internet thing and um, he got given 12 months um, ultimate game pass on the Xbox. Uh -huh. So I if I wanted it. And I said, oh, yeah, because he, he's blind, so it's no good to him. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Peter says, I can't keep up playing video games. My site Move, uh, moves too fast for me to track. Uh, is there nothing sl slow you can... Is there any slow games you can play? 
uh, Kenneth says, I'm not going to be getting the uh, IXO, uh, IXO collection full kit of the Nissan GTR 35 because it will be February next year before it comes out. So I exchanged it for the IXO collection of the Volvo Amazon. Ah. Yeah. Um, Kenneth is old. And then Lord Peter says, uh, in that Volvo, the one... Is that Volvo the one that World of Wayne built, Kenneth? It's a really nice build. Uh, Nigel's in saying hi all from New Zealand. So, yeah, hello, Nigel. Hi, Nigel. How are you? And uh, Peter says, uh, hi, Nigel. Welcome. From New Zealand. Goodness me. So, yeah, from all over the globe. So, yeah, thank you for joining us on this uh, Saturday evening. What's the weather like over there, Nigel? Do you know, instantly you can tell we're, we're English. We just mourn about the weather, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw a funny post too. Someone put up the other day on Facebook. And you know there's that... Oh, let me think about this because I don't want to ruin it. Um, obviously, we've got that. Oh, I'm gonna have to look, I'm gonna have to find it because I don't want to ruin it. Okay, you did make me chuckle though. I might not be able to say it completely because of uh, we are live, but you'll get the idea. Uh huh. I don't know that's it. Okay. Yeah. Hammer in the morning. La -de -de -de. Where is it? Turn around when possible. Oh, I can't find it, but it's along the lines of uh, if you're abroad. Oh, uh, no, we watch a program called A Place in the Sun. Yeah. And do they abroad watch a program called A Place in the Sun? <laughs> <thing> right. <laughs> And it made me laugh because I can just imagine them all looking at watching something like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A place in the in the rain, yeah. In the evening rain. Yes. <laughs> oh dear. It was brilliant. It did make me chuckle. Yes, it does make you wonder, doesn't it? Whether the day. Come on. Let's go down the same. Peter says, uh, My son's godparents live in New Zealand near oh, Rotoria. Rotor, I can't pronounce that, sorry. Rotora. Rotora, is that right? On in you, uh, Peter says, uh, forgive my spelling. No, forgive my pronunciation. 
Yeah, it's Retoria. Retoria, okay. Yeah. Uh, Athol says, okay, who tuned into the local swingers club? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, MP uh, Model Plastics is good evening, Lindsay, and all in chat. Hi, Hello, MP. Hi, Manuel. Hello, Manuel. Hi, Thank you for joining us all the way from Portugal, I believe. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> my first model kit set was in 1973. It was a 172 scale Lockhead F104F. Ooh. Serious bit of kit that there, wasn't it? So why haven't they? Uh, Athel says hi, Manuel in Portugal. Oh, yeah. So Manuel says uh, hi to Athel. Athel says um, evening, Ross. Didn't see you there for a second. And Peter says uh, hi, Manuel. Oh, I see. Right. Shut it down, then. Okay. Well, I'm on to me. Looks like suspension. Don't suspension. Let's have that turn to all right around. Yes, and it's the right way up to yeah. So okay. Spring bobs for B seventy. Mm -hmm. It'll be on B two. Here we are, two springs. God, my tongue, my tongue is sore. Your yeah. tongue is sore. Hmm. Where is that then? Where's my tongue? <laughs> 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 I think I need to do your trip and mask up the old screws and then I can see what's going on. Mm. Oh, I don't like that one there. I'm going to snip the screw there. Mm. Oh, I hope that didn't land in my tea. Take over any supper. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, steady. There's no one from that bit. We'll snip that bit there. Some tension off it. There we go. They're all over the place, aren't they? On these. Goodness me. On the spring. On the springs. The mm. chassis components. Yeah. Mm. Let's get my other file. Squeaky tear. Yeah. Love you. <laughs> The only one is always the one that's furthest away, isn't it? Oh. 
I've had people grinding down my hip. It does, doesn't it? It'd have to be a false hip, though, to be grinding it down like that. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to feel a lot of pain, wouldn't you, if it was your real lip? Like oh, come on. Do, do, do. Just try and get my springs a little bit better than I had them before. <clears throat> I wonder where that bit's gone. I wonder if it's gone in my tea. <laughs> Edges. Say again. So now you're getting on all right. Yeah, not so bad. I'll, I'll pass the camera around in a minute. Yeah, I'm just I've done the engine, I think. For now. And uh I'm just doing the chassis. I just need to work on the seam on me fuel tank. Okay. So, yeah, one of these days I'm going to try the old uh, the filler. Yeah. Not yet, though. No, no, no. So MP says that. Uh, our Lord Peter Nigel says uh, Starfighter, which I turned into a blob of melted plastic. Melted plastic. <laughs> Dear. So Starfighter was his first one. 
MP says, I'm working on a fi on the Fiat Topolino 135 scale from Barocco Bronco. Excellent. It looks a nice little car, didn't that? Uh, Nigel says, hi, Lord Peter. MP says, uh, and a few more steps in the Albatross D111 132 scale Rodan. Absolutely excellent. And um, MP says, and watching your stream, yeah, of course. Thank you, thank you, MP. Nigel said, The weather here in Christchurch, New Zealand, is fine, meant to be 24 degrees as we start to head into summer. Wow, brill, 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 brill. Uh, we envy you back here because it's just wet, miserable, boring, and cold uh, as we head towards winter, of course. Right, I'll quickly pop on to mine and then I'll show you the, the other two guys. So what have I done? I've made the chassis. So I've got the chassis made, the ladder, ladder part of the chassis all made. Hopefully it's hopefully it's straight and hopefully I've got everything the right. Way. So there's a couple of areas that I need to just file gently. Um, and I'm about to put the springs on. I've got one spring done, and then the fuel tank that's put together uh, as per instruction. Uh, this side of the page. I'm now working on the instruction on this side of the page, and I'm going to try and get the front and rear axle sorted if I can, and then I'm going to work on the engine. Okay, so I'm working a bit backwards way on to the other two guys, I think. So yeah, I'm very, very happy the way it's going together. Pretty sure I've got it the right way. Um, let's put it in that way. Which way did it go? That way round for the yeah. it actually says then brackets are the other way up. So does it go that way then? Yeah, it goes that way. There we are. Yeah, so I've got everything the right way. Yep. Yep. Not all there. Yep. That doesn't show it. Yes, it does. Yep. Yep. Right. So I'll put you on to the other guys now. Oh, my camera's gone a bit fuzzy as well, hasn't it? It doesn't seem to like this uh, grey sometimes. So, okay, so I'll move you along to Holix. Okay. Yeah, I'm just uh, putting the uh, chassis together. I think what I'm going to do with this is going to, well, I'm guessing it's the normal thing to do. I'm dry fitting the whole thing first, and then I'm just going to get the glue and just, and then just touch up where they connect along the sides. Yeah, I did the, the glue will the seep in. in. Yeah, I added the sides and then the insides of the chassis just to make sure. Um, and I've already, oh, this is waiting to dry, but the engine's done. Oh, perfect. So, yeah, yeah. just waiting for all that to dry. For some reason, that sat a tad wonky to the naked eye. Mm -hmm. It's the only way it would fit with. You know, with all this lined up, so yeah. but I'm not too bothered about that. You're not really going to see it anyway. You're not going to see it in there once it's painted. You'll, you'll be looking at the paint. You'll see it from above, but then it doesn't. It doesn't look horrendous. Yeah, looks okay. So yeah, very good. Okay, and I'll pop across to Lindsay. Oh, hello. <laughs> Just hold, hold on a minute, guys. Okay. There's a little bit more chat, so I'll bring that up. So, Nigel says, Lord Peter Webster Rotura is in the North Island of uh, New Zealand. Christchurch is in the South Island. Okay. So, what I've done so far, <clears throat> I've got the engine built. 
Oh, okay. but, I, but I don't put the fan and the fan belts on yet. I'll leave that right till the end before I'm yeah. putting it in. Yeah. <clears throat> that saves all that messing about trying to paint the fan belt and everything else. And then you get paint everywhere else and yeah. stuff like that. So that's, that's the engine built. I'm fitted quite well. Perfect. And also I have, let's just put that back in that stand. <clears throat> I've got the fuel tank made. Uh -huh. And uh, what I've done, I've uh, down the seam lines, what I did, I put Tamiya extra thin on the seam lines. Wait, wait until that went kind of tacky dry and then sanded it down with one of these. Yeah. But um, it, it feels quite smooth, but except for one end. So once I primed it, I can see where, where it wants filling. Yeah. So hopefully there won't need too much filling, but I need, but it, I need to get rid of the seam line altogether. So it looks as though it's just one solid fuel tank. Yeah. So. I understand. Uh, I've I've done the same. I've I've put the glue down each side, and then I've to... started just started on the chassis. Just got the first cross member in on the front. Real. So that's where I'm at. Real, real. Well done. Okay. Let's pop us all three back on again. There we go. Okay, chat's caught up with. Right. Yeah, I'm the same with the, the fuel tank. I need to sand it off. I'm going to wait till it dries real loud, I think, and then sand it off with uh, my, my smaller file, I think. I need to get in. These... Um, Springs are a bit of a nuisance. Hmm. It's not that one, it's that one I want. You end up sanding your, uh, grinding your fingers away, don't you? Hmm. And the small bits. As you say, Lindsay, once you get a bit of primer on there, you can see back out you of where it wants. Yeah, you can see where it wants filling. A filling and adjusting a bit of sanding. But sometimes you can take the whole seam line out with Tamiya extra thin, but yeah, beans it's too it beans it's two halves of plastic. Doesn't always do it. No. You can only do a certain amount. And on the knife there. I'm not sure I'm cutting off better. Yeah, no one. Yeah, what a good hobby uh, model making is, you know, really. Can't beat it. Keeps your hands going, doesn't it? And it keeps your brain active. Keeps your brain active and... 
and you make new friends and it is good right why is that not oh i see it's not a so i i'm just messing it up here yeah. nothing to worry about nothing to see here. <laughs> that's better move along the bus please nothing to see here let me look at that Alex yeah it's not glued yet yeah you got it yeah <clears throat> I was getting confused with this M1 because there's like lots of tabs and it looks like it follows the shape of this hole and the one behind it yeah and the mag was, I thought this went the other way but the mag showing that way and I'm like and then I sussed it Okay, so that one, that one, that one, that one. That's all good. Now I just need to touch it all up with glue. Uh, hmm. It's a very tough one. Right in the middle. That's a great lump of plastic. It's brilliant, isn't it? Oh, all this stuff. Just you just watch it suck into the into all the openings. Joints. Yeah. The joints. Mm-hmm. We'll just I dabbed the outside and I looked inside and you can see it's moist right on the yeah okay same yeah. oh. Yep, 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 yep. One there. There's one there. Do, do. Hello, Ted. How are you doing? Nice to see you to come over here. Great stuff. Okay, yeah, <clears throat> Brilliant. 
Nigel says, hi Manuel, Portugal was a big user of AC buses and coaches. And uh, Dave Matt says, I've only got a few more parts to put on the Missouri and it's finished. Oh, should, wow. have done, should have done by the end of next week, hopefully. Well done, Dave. That's a fantastic, absolutely brilliant build, that is. It's amazing. So Ben says, uh, do you guys thin your paints? Yep, yeah, well, we're going to do um because i think we're going to be trying to spray bits so yeah yeah normally no if i'm ham if i'm hand painting tamia paint i don't and it seems to go on rather nice um but obviously we're going to be trying my hand at spraying for the first time so i've got tamia. Little, yeah i've got a little ham a hand um airbrush that was gifted to me like a real beginner like a beginner um and i'm gonna have a go with that so, yeah well ted says hello everyone hello ted and ethel says hi ted max uh putting model uh putting the links in for the channels so there's my link max puts uh the YouTube link in for Harlex, Matt. Thank you. Uh, the YouTube link in for the MCC UK. And uh, Ted's Cars and Guitars says, I'm doing good, still at work. And Nigel says, um, Manuel, sorry for spelling you of your name. Okay. So, uh, have we got lenses? Um, link in there for the people that's over this side, Lindsay's channel. Oh, right, what else I've got to do now? So, I've got the two springs so I can move down to the oh, I've had a subscription from Ben, so thank you very much. I have as well, so thank you very much, Ben. My clock's changed. I've got a YouTube clock I made out of a 3D printer with some electronics, and that's now gone up to 726, I think. Excellent. 726. So thank you very much, Ben. 726, you're doing well. What are you yeah, wanting? Uh, it's taken five years, six years. <laughs> what are you at, Lindsay? 365, I think. Well, wow, you've come a long way then in a short space of time. It's very yeah, good. Just over, well, it's just over 12 months. That's yeah. Pretty good. It's taken me yeah, about six years to do the seven. But you sort you kind of gain you kind of gain some and lose some. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Right. I mean, um, I also mine started with the, with the part work printer. Mm -hmm. I had a problem with it that I had to tell the world, and I did it. I was so nervous. It's still on my channel. And it, it's one of them videos that you watch back and you just cringe. <laughs> but we all have them, I think. Yeah. And then I started doing the R two D two and the DeLorean as a live build. Eventually I got to about issue seven and some people were saying, Oh, you should you still on YouTube? I don't know. And then I did and I've never looked back. Right, so that's glowing. That's stronger than ever. So that's really good. I need some help with the fuel tank. Need some help with the fuel tank. Yeah. So you're talking about the glowing and the the, the 
and running down the seams is that from the outside so do you literally put these together glue them with the pins and then run it down the sides yeah 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 right. once, you, once, once you've got it together yeah and then it's then when it goes a bit tacky yeah then just file it off file it off well we'll have a go at that then it doesn't take long to dry but don't try and do it when it's wet because it just makes a mess <laughs> Someone else going to ask, but uh, it's not in the chat so far. Uh, Terry Little History lives in York, doesn't he? Yes, he does, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I was going to ask him. Uh, Question if he was anywhere near Fulford. Fulford's. <coughs> I would imagine he's still streaming. Yeah, yeah. Because I used to, I used to um, take kids to uh, Fulford School. It's a blooming long way from where I am. Uh, Ted's Cards and Guitars says, uh, I've subbed to all. Thank you very much, Ted. Oh, thank you, Ted. Thank you ever so much. Oh, so you have, yeah. We've gone up to 727 now. Sure ah. well. Thank you. Save me LED bar. I've been LED burn. <laughs> I would have stuck on the same number. <laughs> uh, Ted says, uh, I've subbed to all, yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Ted. Appreciated. Thank you, Ted. Uh, Mark says, uh, I can put Lindsay's link. Oh, I can't put Lindsay's link in the chat on Davis and Alex's because I'm not a mod. Okay, okay. Right. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Let me sort that out then. Let me sort that out for you, Mark. If I can find it. Aha. Uh -huh. I find it really complicated. Hold on. Let's have a look. Does anyone know? Help, help, help. Uh, but, um, and your settings, yeah. Settings and community, is it? <coughs> um. mm -hmm. uh. No. 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 Right. YouTube Studio. No, it wouldn't be in there, would it? You have to do it in your YouTube channel, I think. Oh, sorry, yeah. Yeah, I'm on my other screen, but I can't. Oh, God, I'm getting confused, do you? Um, it must be under settings. Getting confused because they're the wrong way around. Okay, let's just have a look. Not all going that way. Not going that. Advanced. Oh, right, we've got to get the world the right way around. So they're in guard. So that's all right. Okay. Let's have a look and see if they will. They will go. <coughs> <laughs> Make permit to do that all at once. 
Let's have a look then. B45. Um, Oops, got on there. Right, I think that's done, Mark. It only took me 20 minutes to work it out. <laughs> ouch, 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 ouch. My fingers. Hey. Does it look like a cax to Laxton, Axel? <coughs> Good old cax to Laxel from Leeds. Um. Sorry, what's up with that? Go for it painting says hello again. So hi, hello. Hello. Sprue says, uh, oi Mark, you missed my now. Laughing face. <laughs> yeah, we don't mind sharing about. Uh Benjamin says, uh, no problem, I hold it. Love me some modeling channels that do live streams, very relaxing. Awesome. Thank you. Thank yeah, you I mean much. we do this. I mean, generally I I do my BW part work on a Friday. Um, but once a fortnight, we do the, um, the MCC UK and we've got, we do some other, well, a bit of everything on there. Um, you know, we can plastic modeling to part works to whatever anyone wants to do. And I'm currently working on another plastic model kit, which is the, um, the VW camper. Um, so that's what we, what I did last week. You've got the engine in there painted so that's still oh and then i finished off painting the little tiny battery last week looks really nice so that's coming along and um, yeah that's this one it's a level five <clears throat> um flower power bus so yeah i've got a bit of a collection of buses on the go so I got that for my birthday from uh, our Jolly Dave, and his link's in the description as well. So, um, yeah. Uh, Ted says, uh, I'm at 91 subs, but I'm only at, only at two months. That's really good. So, yeah, well done. Yeah. I will, um, I can't do anything now, but I will go through and, uh, and, and return subs and things like that share the love uh, Ted says hi to Sprue uh, Sprue says hi to Ted Mark says yes it's worked oh brilliant Oops. yeah thank you um, and then Mark's put in Lindsay, Lindsay's uh, channel link uh, Dave's channel link and the MCC UK and just for you Sprue We've got uh, screws <laughs> twice, not once, but twice. See, you've got more links than all of us. So. <laughs> and for doing all that work, it, Mark, why don't you put your own in? <laughs> put your own link in. And spray says, uh, oh, manly hugs, Mark. Manly hugs, Mark. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Right. Uh, what am I doing? Fuel tank. Ouch, uh, my finger ends. Ouchie. I've got holes in mine. You've got holes in your finger ends? <laughs> no, in the side of the fuel tank. Yeah. Where, they, where it was on the... 
So do you suggest we put the axle on the springs or the springs on the axle, Lindsay, than the, the springs in the chassis? Oh, just let me know. <coughs> I would put the springs on the chassis first. Uh -huh. Because if I remember, they were a little bit of a nightmare if you do it the other yeah. way. Yeah. I think that's the way I did it last time, I think. Because sometimes they don't sit in that recess properly if you're not careful. Yeah. Just going to have a test and see where they go. Shoo we do Yeah. to make sure you get them sitting up straight as well yeah so, one's leaning over mark says can do uh, dave max says i'm going to say good night guys you're doing really well with your new builds always great show always a great show i'll catch up tomorrow night or in chat so thank you dave and uh good night and, and thank you for your support as always thank you dave well, mac Take care now. Bye, Dave, Mark. Mark's put in a link. I guess that's your channel, Mark, is it? It's got all the yeah. gobbledygook at the end of that one. Yeah, so they could put his own link in, yeah. Yeah. No, it just normally says yeah. at Mark's Mod, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, Spruce says, uh, Lindsay, uh, you need more glue. Yeah. <laughs> Sound like has run out, didn't they? Mm. Oh, I've got, a few, I've got a few more bottles. Yeah, I've got two of these because um, I only wanted one to try and then I didn't get on with it to start with. But now I am. So I think it's the maybe it was the plastic I was using it on, on the yeah. model. I mean, I can't even remember which one it was now. Um, however, I couldn't just buy one bottle of this. I had to buy two, so I've actually got two. But as you can see, I've not used it. It's still full. But it lasts a long time, I'm guessing. Hmm. I don't like that widget there. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I think I've got two bottles left, I think. How are you getting on with it, um, Dave? All right. The glow, that is. Yeah, good, yes. Yeah, I'm quite happy with it, actually. I'm having more of a struggle with my fingers at the minute. Yeah, just trying to do a bit of testing. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Yeah. Take the egg, egg for us back in. <laughs> it's my um, Norman Collier impression. Bless him. Oh. Norman know. Collier is actually buried very, very close to where Chris's dad's buried. All right. Did you know? Did you know that? Yeah, Norman Collier, the comedian. 
is uh, is actually buried very close to Chris's uncle, but quite close to Chris's dad. So I'm in the same graveyard. Norman Collier with his chicken and his door and his microphone. Do you remember that? Don't even know who he is. Norman Collier, the comedian. No. <clears throat> Famous around this way. It's probably, is he from your side of the country? Yeah, yeah. Sort of um, lived about twelve miles away from here. I remember Mike Harding. Yeah, the, he used to go along the same route as that with the comedian Mike Harding and all that. James was um, a breaking up microphone and you just got ag fun yeah. oh breaking <laughs> where are you Jim? okay let's try it then shall we Memories. Um, 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 yeah. Was that the tune? Oh, the tune I was thinking of the other day was Three Little Beds. With, uh, uh, with um, yeah, Bob Marley. That's the tune I was thinking of. Not free bird, was it? I think hey. uh, was it Mark Googled that, didn't he? Free bird. I don't know. Yeah. The one we were saying about it the other day, I was thinking, no, that's not the one now. Straight as a die. I'm hoping man is when I get it set. I'm going to let that dry now before I put the uh, suspension on. I'm just going to go and make myself a cup of tea, guys. Okay. okay. Oh, well, yeah, well, that's this. Uh... We just go down to the bottom here. Um, Ted says hi to uh, Manuel, and Ted, uh, uh, Ted says, uh, "Well, I have to go, everyone. I'll catch you all later." Yeah, thank you. Okay, Ted, thank you. Come on, Manuel says hi to Ted. Yeah, I think that's going in there, okay. Oops. Yeah, not so bad. Okay. <coughs> Damn me. Glow. Where are you supposed to get that out of there, then? Uh... That bit of yeah, very thin file I use. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Right. Uh, 
Next week is going to be westerly winds, spells of rain, and temperatures above average. It's just sad. Okay. I can't predict what's going on tomorrow, let alone next week. Exactly. Exactly. Exactly, Mondo. All right. Stop guessing at which sprue it's on. It's on 67 and... Hmm. 67. 67, it's there, look. God, blame my tongue. Get me tablet sound. What time is it? Half past nine. Oh, we're all right. We're all right, we're... So Spru says bye, Ted, and uh, Ben says good night, Ted. Me too. Thanks for the stream, everyone. No, you're welcome. Good night, Ben. Uh, take care now. And um, Lord Peter says, uh, sorry, being quiet, been uh, sales shopping uh, and I got a new loco. Wow, wow, wow. Brill. No worries. Yeah, it's exciting. Yeah. I just got too much glue on that corner there. Never mind. It's okay. Set perfect. It's all right. Uh, right. So, yeah, then two. That looks nice. Looks nice. That's for the fuel tank. Put them up there. Can't see them bits on the grey background, can you? Steering bar, and that's B38. So I bet that's on B1, is it? Pick the B square. B1. There. B38, yes, it is. I don't know how far I'm going, really. I think I was just um, maybe just get the axle one. Well, the the back axle. I'm not sure if I have to have the engine done for the back axle because of the prop shafts. Oops, come on, grip it, grip it. Yes, rough there, rough and ready. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, what's that? I don't know. I don't know what that is. Sounds like an eBay announcement. Yeah, I'm not buying anything. Maybe someone watching that's ended. <laughs> I'm not buying my fish. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's just telling me that something's ending in 14 minutes that I'm watching. Well, it can end because I can't afford it. I watch a load of stuff. Uh, 
I'm a typical Yorkshireman. If I can't get it for next to now, then I don't get it. You know, like a bargain. <laughs> yeah. Just, uh, yeah, they go down to that. Yeah, they'll go in there, yeah. Okay. So I'll have that on smartly. Well, well don't, glue, don't come out when I glued it. Come on. And there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I can see that's glue and glue on. Let's have. I suppose I could have the rear axle built. Rear springs. Let them go on. Right then. Rear axle cut out. Bits and ended on that one. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, what I need now, I need the bee again. <coughs> Excuse me. Aha, uh -huh, yes. Oh, yeah. God, I'm Bennett. Yes. What's that? What's that? What's that? Where are you? Where are you? I'm looking for the ends of my fuel tank. Oh, they're there. Ah. Yeah, I think you found me on a different spray. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're on the one with the chassis parts. These kits are quite famous for that. Yeah, the bits all over the place, isn't there? Uh-huh. Okay. And there's that many sprue connections to each bit I forgot how many I've cut for this spring there must be eight eight bits of sprue on in it on one two eight, twelve, four, six, seven, eight. yeah that's right did I cut that one no did I cut that one? Oops, yeah, I did. <laughs> right. Let's put them up there for a second. Let's have these cleaned up. So that means eight bits to stand off as well. This is where you start thinking ahead now for your painting scheme. Yeah. Because mm. I shan't put my fuel tank on. No. When I'm, I shall spray the chassis first before it goes on because my fuel tank's a different colour. Mm. 
Yeah. Pardon me, excuse me. So, I think the brown one is just um, has a black field tank, is it? Can't see it from here. I don't know what colour I've been oh. saying to be on the standard one. Maybe black still, because the picture uh, on the other side. I did it black on the wrecker. Yeah, picture's the other side, isn't it? It might tell yeah, you the uh, instructions. If you're doing it by the box art, the whole chassis is black. Yeah. The um the um yeah. The other wagon, the Opal Blitz uh, classic. I want some um old German um, crosses <clears throat> you know the black and silver crosses yeah and I'm going to have the paint real rough on it and so that I'll put the decals on and then weather over a top of it or something mm -hmm. lightly spray over it and then try and like sand it off and so that it looks like one but you can just tell that it's got the German crosses on, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. And I want to do that because, you know, and then, then people will look and say, ah, that's a German wagon. What's that doing in there? And you can... You know, this is a Vauxhall Bedford garage. Yeah, but... captured the first one i did of them i turned mine into a wrecker yeah scratch my own, my, my own body for it wow you're right dave yeah i'm fan yeah why no i said you're right freaking hey it's a spur on the screens. Oh, yeah. And I don't then remember that from the last one. And then there's a couple of extra ones set on the top of the spring. Yeah. We'll maybe stop when we get a chassis made. Yeah, I think so. Good. I need to just uh... good start for the show. That let everything dry, and I might be a bit behind you too, guys, because. Uh, Obviously, I've got an engine made, but uh, ouch. Should be do we do? Yeah, all these bits are to file off, aren't they? And it's like, if you can't put them close enough to the spring. But, uh, none bits be a, a lot worse than this, though. Just that end, I think. Mm -hmm. 
I'm still in love with this kit as much as what I ever have been there. Can't beat them. <laughs> no, they are good, aren't they? Did you manage to repair that one from the Dick Smith uh, collection? Yeah. Yeah, I made a double-ended uh, stick with some um, tape on mm -hmm. a lump of stick and I poked it into the cab, got the window, stuck it to the stick and then I uh, PVA glue uh, around it and then pulled it back out so it fit in the door hole because you, yeah. you have to fit the and um, held it there for a while and then just used the bit of tape that I was using on the stick to, to stick the window in on the outside, um, on the outside of the cab. Uh -huh. And um, the next day it set solid, so I just took the tape off and Bob's your uncle. What's that window for then? Yeah, a window went in on the cab of the green one. That's what happened to my uh, wrecker. After yeah, I built it, it was because I used that micro crystal clear stuff, and for me, it doesn't work. It does, it's not a glue, not for me. It just doesn't work. I mean, what did I'm I not enough on or putting too much on? But it just is so weak. It just you just breathe on it and it and, the, and it falls through. Basically, what I did, I got some sticky tape like this and stuck it on a stick, and had the, I folded it backwards on itself, so I had the sticky part here. Went into yeah. the cab, picked up the window, and then um, I'd glued around the outside edge of the window with some PVA and then pulled it back on itself. And once I pulled it back, I'd let the stick come down and then I got some more tape and just anchored it to this tape here, make sure it was set in the window frame right, and then just uh, let it go. And it stuck in with the tape over the rest of the cab. No problem. And as I said, just took the tape off, and once it's set, it was like fishing. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it's as I, as I picked it up, the, the window went straight inside, and I went, oh, no. <laughs> it is hard, isn't it, doing windows? I mean, that's the only thing with my wrecker. They didn't come out that great, to be fair. They're all right, like they're in, but I could have done it a lot better, I think. But it was the whole trying different adhesives. Yeah. I always use PVA, put them in with. Yeah. PVA, yeah. <clears throat> Neat from the bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I did. Excuse me, I need to get some PVA. I've got some Gorilla Wood glue, but it's not really the same thing, is it? No, it's it's not far off. Right. Yeah, it uh, didn't come with any wing mirrors, unfortunately. So I've got some spare ones somewhere. It's. Uh, I think that's the only thing that was missing from it was the. Oh no, the. Was it the side um, side lights? Can't remember now. I'll have to go and have a look. But um, I think it's wing and side lights. Was it missing? 
You'll have to let me know and I'll look through my spares box and then you can send me your address and I'll send some in the post. Okay, thank you. I'll pay you for them, right? No, I don't want nothing for them. See this now, oh, that fits together. It's not too bad. Okay. So. Camel. Oh, that's all that on me. Okay. Blow <coughs> my neck. Well, you don't want to go out yet, do you? Just check my fingers. Well, I can't put them on yet until I've put them on. Oh my god. Oh, uh, just uh, we'll look at the chat. So, chat says, I see an unboxing video on the horizon at Lord Peter. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to do uh, go now, and all the builds are coming on nicely. Good night uh, till next time. Thank you, Lord Peter. Good night now. Good night, Peter. Bye, Peter. Uh, Athel says, um, Night, Ted and Ben. Um, Night, guys. Max says, uh, So do I, Sprue. <laughs> so Max says, uh, Night, Ted and Ben. And Ian says, Ian Campbell says, Crikey, guys, you still going? Yeah. Hey, we're still going. I Dedication for you, that is. Well, once she is, this just something about this model. Once you start, you just can't seem to stop. Will be soon, though, because I've got to let all this dry before I start prizing things on. Um, especially, <clears throat> I've put the suspension on one, one end of it, which is fine because it goes into the frame, but I'm not going to be able to put the bigger one on because there's these tiny little bits that need to glue on the sides, and I want to make sure they're yeah. fully. fully stuck before i start prizing on them yeah um um pretty much the same as well because i've got i've got the front on and then the front steering gear the uh the rod across there and um what was it i was waiting for to dry i want that to be nice and solid i don't want to be messing around with it so but i've cleaned up the springs back springs ready to go on and i've cleaned i've done the axle got that together and there is a bit of work to do on the axle because it's gapped well not gapped but you can see a joint so i think i might put a bit of glue on there and then like i've done on the fuel tank mate sand it off so on the fuel tank I did some some more off on it, so um, I think it might just want a little bit of filling, not a lot, not a lot. And um, the hull, go on. Hmm? Go on, you're right. What's that? I thought you were saying something. Oh, no. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. I just hope I've got all that right. I think I have. I think I have. Yeah. 
Yeah, it just needs a little bit of sanding. I might get some of them light sanding sticks like you was on about Horlocks. Oh, yeah, it's what Lindsay's got. Hmm. Hmm. Is there any trouble with uh, batting for the other side? I've only got girlfriends going radio draw. <laughs> well. Yeah, I couldn't um, and one of the housemates help you out that way. No, I don't think so. Oh. I was thinking of the lady on the top floor. Oh, Michelle? Hmm. No, she doesn't do um, stuff like that or makeup or anything. She's a, a natural. Right. She's out actually tonight as well. I don't know where she is. I think she's doing pole. She? Oh, yeah. Pole class, yeah. Pole class. Yeah, you she's know, I'm, really, I'm really impressed with that chassis. Now, Lindsay, this chassis, oh. this is the long wheelbase one. Yeah. And I do think that it might have had slight extensions on the back for the bus ones, wouldn't it? Uh, the extension ones for these for, is for the tanker yeah and for the bus i'm thinking of as well like a uh, underneath the boat of the bus of the coach yeah, so, yeah 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 so yeah because i um i would love to scratch build a owb which is the um wartime service bus yeah god i'd love to do one of them but it would take a lot of doing, like, but need need the same front end, you know, the wings and the bonnet and the uh, radiator bulge and the lights and everything. But from the um, cab, from the bottle um, backwards, it would be completely different. Mm. Yeah, it would be. Because I think the bus they had like the, the M type front, didn't they? Yeah. Mm. No, no, sorry, no, that's wrong. No, no, they did have the O type, didn't they? Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking of the the K type ambulance yeah, ones, aren't yeah. yeah. Or the MKs, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, Athel says, by the way, Dave, DS models, was Chris happy that you had to modify the Stubbard truck wiring? Um, <laughs> I can't remember modifying the truck wiring. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, because it was the wrong way around. Yeah, um, the wiring you're on about is is the wire that goes to the indicator uh in the corner of the cab yeah uh she had the other wire trapped and um there was a bit of confusion going off there with a um a magazine correction um somewhere along the line and i think that's i think she's just put the she just put the wires in a in a holder where the magazine correction told you to put it and it was in the wrong place so yeah I'd, all i did was just undo everything and move it and i had to do that on one of my wires as well because i've actually uh was it what's uh terry stream or your stream i was on lindsay i can't remember one of the streams i was on i actually did one of my wires because uh, I, I got one of my wires wrong as well so it's just a case of undoing the front of the cab and uh, prising the wire through and then re-popping it back into the indicator. And uh, the other one goes to the indicator on the 
uh, wing mirror. Uh, sorry, the wing, the uh, mud guard. So yeah, she was quite happy about that. She was. And uh, okay, time to go uh, Ross's right channel and uh, see how Liberator builds are going. Uh, see you lads at some point. Thank you ever so much, Ethel, for coming along. Good night Thank to you. you and enjoy the rest of your night if you can. <clears throat> Bye, Ethel. Okay, I shan't be doing any more to mine tonight. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop there with man. I'm, I've got I'm quite happy that I've got the chassis built and I've got I've got the tank and the rear axle to work on. I can put the tank straps in to the chassis and I need to cut out the other bits from the sprue, but I won't be doing that tonight. So all my bits will be going back in the box. So where they're nice and clear. I'll put the sprues on top of them. So all I've got to do then is take the sprues out. And all the bits will be there uh, when we do our next one. Oof. I'm very happy actually that I've got that far. Uh, you know, been the first one on that and getting back into it. And I mean, I've enjoyed this kit so much. Once again, if you want to get this kit, it's uh, the MH. It's the MH one twenty fourth scale Bedford OLBD, the long wheelbase O series five ton drop side truck. It is available off the internet. Our M has themselves. Uh, you can contact them. Uh, or the internet. Uh, good auction sites have it on. And uh, so does Hobbycraft and several other model shops. So it's well worth uh, looking out for. So, and as I said, this is there's, there's four in the series. So this is the one we're doing. Well, one me and the Harlots are doing. Uh, Lindsay's doing a special one. And uh, the other three would be looking like that. There'll be a tanker, a wrecker, and a small tipper truck. Okay. And there is, um, there is a ch chance of doing this uh, another, another way as well. You can actually do it in the red because uh, it's got the it's got the um, transfers to do it in the red as well. So you could do it in the red if you wish, or any other colour that you wish. Uh, and it is a damn good kit, I can tell you. I don't have to tell you, you can tell. I'm no good at making kits, and I've, you know, I've got this, managed to get this together. Um, there's been a little bit of flash, but, you know, sand it off, it's not a problem. And it's glued together well with uh, the extra thin Tamiya. And um, hopefully it will look okay once it, we get a bit further down the line and we get it spread and everything. And, yeah, I'm looking forward to the next uh, the next instalment. Oh, your camera's gone. Funny. Your camera's gone. Gone funny. There we are. I'll, I'll pop back on LAN in a second on there. Uh, got cameras up. Depending on how far you are, Harlex, what do you want to do? Um, yeah, I'm nearly done. I just need a few more minutes. Okay. okay. I just want to get this axle uh, on. Okay. I'm just nest med, med in this dog for a second. That way. Look on there, look. Yeah, look on there. Look. Yeah. Where's Rusty? Eh? Where is he? Eh? Where's Rusty? Eh? Look, there's not over there. It's this way, look. Hey, come up here. Come and see everybody, look. 
Not there. Look, not this way. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Not to go out, don't you? Mm. No. This is a good lad. Come on. You little monkey. Yeah, yeah, it's there. Rusty is a little monkey. This is a little monkey. <laughs> Rusty is a little monkey, isn't he? Hey, that Rusty. Hey, where is he? Is he his mouth? Is he? You're daft. Go on then. <sighs> Bit too small this chair to have us both on there. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to bring you up, uh, big now, Lindsay. Let me okay. see what you've got. So, okay, so Lindsay's progress tonight then is an engine. So it's a 28 horsepower Bedford uh, straight six petrol engine and a petrol tank and a chassis, long wheelbase chassis. Wow, fantastic. So, max out of 10, would you give it then, uh, Lindsay? But building wise, hmm, yeah, it's nine out of ten. Wow, that's great. Nine out of ten. Yeah, that's great. That's, there that's hasn't uh, there hasn't been any fitting issues as yet. So, yeah, jolly yeah. good. It's pretty cool. Yeah. But they yeah, are good kits. They are without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah, they are good kits. Okay, let me um, change my camera and then I'll bring me up. And webcam, come on, there we go. Okay, so and my webcam is there. Okay, well, I've, I've done a bit less than that because I've done the chassis, the front axle, front springs, front steering, and then I've uh, cut out the spring, the rear springs, and sanded them off. Cut out the rear axle, sanded a lot of that off. Cut out the Dundee fuel tank and sanded a lot of that off. And then cut out the two um, tank brackets to put the tank on. So there's four widgets that goes on the back here for the rear springs, isn't they? So I need to sort them out and uh before i can put the springs on because uh, they're sitting like cups don't they on this kit yeah uh, there's sitting cups at the back and then brackets at the front here so and um and then of course i need to crack on with my engine uh, which is still on my sprue uh, but yeah that's um me and as i say i'm very very happy um i think i've got it reasonably straight yeah so it's not so bad yeah i think it's reasonably i'm reasonably happy at that and um max out of 10 i'd probably give it the same nine i'm very happy with um the, the fit and everything yeah there's a lot of um widgets that sold the parts of the sprue uh but soon sanded off and soon soon uh got out there so yeah that's me okay let me pop us on all three i think i have got a green um cutting map somewhere it's no i, I seem to remember last time it was no good on this gray gray background does it uh, Normally grey is better than green. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, that's why I left the instructions on. I thought, well, at least you can see it on the white there. But Right, I think I'm done. Okay, do you want to share? Shall I bring you up? Okay, so Horlex, where are you at till then? So I've done the engine, as I mentioned earlier. That's all yeah. set quite nicely. Obviously, it needs a good 24 hours or so 
but yeah, that's um, nothing, nothing. None of the small details have fallen off yet, so that's plus in my book. Yeah, <laughs> fuel tank's done. Looks a bit of a mess at the moment. I've sanded it down a bit. It's just a bit shiny from the glue, but I'm, yeah, I think I'm okay with that. It's it feels smooth to the touch. I think I am going to get a line, but it depends how the as Lindsay says how the primer fills it. Yeah. So, We'll see. Go for yeah. With that, I cut these out. I don't want to put these in yet. The same as you. Yeah. Um, I've done the chassis. I've put the cups on. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and obviously, they're quite fragile, so I don't want to start forcing these in. Although, they, are, they don't need to be forced, because they do actually just drop into place. Yes. Um, they fit really well. But... I'm going to wait until next time for that. Yeah, that's right. And then I've done the front suspension and the. Um, yeah. 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 Excellent. So the uh, the um, anti roll bar, or whatever that. Yeah, anti roll bar. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's gone on really nicely. Really nice, actually. And I'm glad I've used this, actually, because when I tried to do this last time, it looked quite messy because yeah. it's. As brilliant as like that glue was on the last model for me, yeah, it was quite thick. And trying to get into these small bits, when you push this in, it starts seeping out. And then I had to put a load of glue on because I've glued this bit onto the spring yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, just for extra support. Yeah, um, and with the thick glue, this the other glue. It looked quite messy in this area, but with this, you can just give it a brush and it's, it's stuck. Yeah. And give it a bit more strength as well, I would have thought. Yeah. So it's all lined up okay, I think. Um, that looks straight. It's very, feels very firm. Yeah. I'm all really happy with the, well, we, well, to be fair, we've done a lot tonight, really. I think yeah. this took about three or four weeks to get to this stage on the last series. Yeah, sure it did, yeah. But because we've done one, it's sort of coming back. Yeah. So, yeah, we yeah, happy. Jolly good. Okay, I'll pop us all three of us on then. And I'll, I'll go transfer if I can. And the camera, 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 camera. There we are. Okay, so a little bit more chat, and the chat is um, Screw and Glow says, Walkers, <laughs> yeah, walkers, <laughs> <laughs> not yet for 10 minutes. It will, yeah. Hmm. And Jordy Dave's joined us as well, and he says, Evening, everyone. So, hi, Jordy Dave, and uh, we're just, hi, about to, just about to sign off. And uh, we've been building since seven o'clock, so we've had a good three hours. So, yeah, uh, good evening to you, Jordy okay so that's that right okay so it was saturday today aren't we mm -hmm. sunday tomorrow then we have got um i think we've got some daytime streams um i think um connie goes out on the daytime and um uh, lee goes out on a daytime and there's somebody else sure there is anyway um tomorrow night on our schedule we have got max mods with the part wax show with uh max mods and uh the nexus so uh tomorrow evening i believe that's uh, seven o'clock tomorrow evening so and uh then monday i think julie will be doing the doll's house at seven and i think uh after that then you'll have to look at the schedule on the on the facebook groups to see what's happening the following week uh but i know that there's i know lindsay you're out um is it on a wednesday yeah wednesday night 7 p.m wednesday night 7 p.m and um yeah catch lindsay's on there and you can join the join your stream as well if you have got um if you've got permission off lindsay to join or um you know send you a link and um i think sprue and glue goes out on the monday as well doesn't i it would be his live on a Thursday. Thursday, uh, th Thursday, Thursday dinner time. Thursday dinner time, Sprung Glow, then, yeah. I, oh. thought, 
I thought it went out on a Monday, but yeah, it does go on a Monday as well. Yeah, um, Monday dinner does I? Yeah, Monday dinner yeah. and Thursday dinner. Okay, that's well worth watching as well. Plus, there's a lot of people in the chat here that have got channels such as Max Mod and uh, several other people. Uh, they are well worth watching. Jordi Dave, of course, and um, Spur and Glow. Yeah, Spur and Glow's just said to me, yeah, Monday, uh, Thursday, 12 p.m., uh, 12, 12 lunchtime. So, yeah, so, and then Jordi Dave's put Titanic on Tuesday. Yeah. So that's Tuesday, and that'll probably be at 7 p.m. on the Tuesday. And, okay, yeah, thanks for the shout-out. No problem, Sprungler, no problem at all. You, you you do the same for us. Right, so I'll just go quickly through these. Um, Steve Belcher says, good stream, guys, thank you. And Spru and Glue, we've... Done. Nigel Brown Threat says, uh, enjoyed the live chat. Good night. Uh, look forward to the next one. Thank you ever so much, Nigel. And uh, yeah. Spring Glow says, JC Bricks and Builds, Tuesday at 1 p.m. There we are. So there's several uh, shows that you can join in uh, the chat on, on them on there. Okay. So I'm going to leave it to Horlicks to close the show. <laughs> Because I think I've yacked on enough. And um, I'll wish you all a good night. Thanks ever so much for joining us. Thank you to Lindsay for coming along and your invaluable help as always, Lindsay. Thank you ever so much. And joining all, all the lovely people that's joined. And, um, yeah, if you haven't joined our channels already, uh, the, the channel links are in the chat. So pop along to them in the chat. Thanks to Mac Max Mods for doing that for us as well, because that's very much appreciated. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all on the next uh, next show. When am I next on? I don't know. I can't, I can't think off the top of my head. At some point, I've got to go uh, uh, do an update on this thing behind me, this at the top route master. And at some point, I've got to do an update on my Eddie Stobard as well. So uh, in the background, I may catch up to these two and I may build the engine so that we're all at the same we're all at the same pitch because I haven't built the engine tonight, so I've obviously been wrecking. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, the next time I can definitely you'll be on will be this time next week. Yeah, 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 yeah. This time next week. Right. So, um, Lindsay, do you like to say anything now? Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much for uh, inviting me to this uh, Bedford Buddy Build. It's uh, good fun and i'm looking forward to right to the end really it's you know yeah. it's it's quite exciting <laughs> and you're a great bunch of guys thank yeah, you thank yeah um no yeah thanks for lindsay for coming along for this uh, journey with us this season or series um and uh, yeah we've really smashed that out tonight i think like in comparison to last year, you know, the last series. Um, yeah. But yeah, really enjoying it again. Um, I could probably sit here and do another two hours, but that's just been impatient. I need to let that dry. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you everyone for uh, coming back and joining us for this series. And we'll see you uh, on this show again next Saturday. Um, so yeah, I think everything else has been said. So apart from that, it's a good night for me. Have a good weekend. And uh, see you later. Okay, and it's a good night from me. And it's a good night from me. Bye bye. Night, everyone. Bye everyone. Bye, everyone.